Lego Batman walkthrough for spacestopgames.com and nextgenwalkthroughs.com. The lure of the night level. Well, this is a pretty easy level. It's kind of challenging on co-op because of the camera angling, and then there's one part in this level of the camera angling just horrible. Which I was sort of surprised because for Lego games, camera angling isn't usually all that bad. The camera angling is weird, but it's not really bad. So you first have to just uh, come over here onto these rooftops, and then killing the guards as you go come along. Here's where that really weird camera angling is. Um, there's a place behind the wall, behind that building, but the camera just won't go there for some reason, and I really do not know why, but. Oh well, <laughs> it's not too bad once you know what you're doing. And uh, you're not really supposed to get down here. I just went down here for the studs because I was trying to get that true millimeter, but it, I don't think I get it in this level. But oh well, always worth a try. And the this part where the ladder was in midair was really stupid because it, I mean it's kind of a pain trying to jump up and get it but right now you have to use the moth guy to jump over and here's where that camera just would not turn so I fell <laughs> and but what you have to do is get the moth person you have to have him fly over to build the uh, little zipline type thing so the Joker can actually get over here. And then you actually have to become the Joker so you can turn on the zappy thingy. And then the AI was being stupid and wasn't following me, so. Would have been better if this game was made by LucasArts. Although they do Star Wars stuff, they don't really do. Batman. <laughs> and zap that, and then that turns up, that puts up a little um, platform, I guess, for you. And you can be the Joker to get this, and when you see those, uh, like, bricks you can build over there, I, uh, I haven't been able to get them in story mode. I think you might be able to if you're the moth guy, but... I just haven't been able to, so I didn't really bother trying. And then you need to build this. And then, uh, step on it. And it explodes that very not noticeable wall. And then these more guys, more guys come out. And right here was pretty cool. It was like a little battle. If only your, if only your allies could. If only, I <laughs> say that again. If only you weren't the only person that could kill the guys. It's kind of stupid that you can only kill them and not your other Lego friends. Now you need to come up here and turn this on, and then, well, hopefully not get squished by that, which I thought was really stupid. And which was really unneeded. Should have been like the other LEGO games where it just pushes you out of the way if you get squished like that. And then more SWAT guys up there. 
or whatever you want to call them. Someone told me they weren't SWAT, but I'm calling them SWAT. They look like SWAT. And here, you can go right under if you want to, but there's a bunch of blue studs up on the top of these, so... Again, me trying to go for the, uh... True villain meter, which I don't think I got it anyway. And I actually think that this game has got... Like, I, oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> I think that this level, not this game, this level is the last boss if you're following... If you're doing the heroes and the villains, then I think this is the last uh, boss in the level. I mean, in the game for the... Yeah, you know what I mean. What I was also thinking of... Like, what I was thinking of when I was playing through this is doing the villains first because it explains how the villains got there and it, uh, and get on that and your ally should step on it. But I should have done the villains first because it's explaining how what the villains did and how they got there instead of just the heroes going and attacking them. But you have to play through the heroes, you have to, like, play through one chapter of the heroes to unlock the villains, so, I don't know. And once you do that, you need to build this uh, helicopter, which I thought was pretty cool that we actually get to fly a mini helicopter. And don't fall, don't go over the fire. And what you need to do is actually go down lower and just shoot, and uh, you, it will kill one of the shiny silver objects. And uh, it lets you, lets you continue. More SWAT guys to kill. And another helicopter to build. Wow, this is a long video. <laughs> it's gonna be like 10 minutes, I think. Hold on. And, um, I don't think anything special happens if you get in this helicopter, right? I think it's really only 4 1. Wait, what am I thinking? Alright. Yeah, it's just to break through that, uh, gate thing. And kill millions of security guard people. <laughs> Which was kind of fun. In the helicopter. <laughs> now a little playground. A classic thing that started in LEGO Star Wars 2 in the... Uh, like... I don't know what it's called. But it's whatever. In LEGO Star Wars 2 it's whatever happens when you get 60 gold bricks. And once you get all 99, you get a stud fountain, which was unlimited studs, which was pretty cool, but getting all those gold bricks on Lego Star Wars 2 is hard. Okay, now what you need to do is come over here and uh, build another stair, uh, build another ladder on this little mini playground thing. And then jump up on this ladder. ladder Louder, 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 louder. Pfft. Wow, stuttery today. And uh, I kept trying to shoot over there, but the Joker kept trying to attack these, so he was just being stupid. <laughs> just kind of another reason why I didn't like the whole new punching thing that they put in LEGO Star Wars 2. And in all the other LEGO games. Punching part was cool, but now the pre later it's just annoying. And then you need to get on this and build uh, that switch, which I thought it was really stupid. Just put that little patch of acid, just so that only the Joker could do it. But oh well. Whatever I think isn't going to change anything. Which is why I sometimes don't see why people do reviews. I mean, yeah, which is why sometimes I wonder why people do reviews because if you don't like part of the game, there's nothing you can do but not play that part or something because you can't change what's in the game. Wow, that sounded really gay. Okay, this part's pretty fun. You need to step on all of these and then this giant magical funny looking clown robot comes up. And this robot shoots stuff, it'll step on cars later on, and also defeat 
the boss, which is next.